All right, guys, how's it going? It is time for another Today's Exclusive. Although I've got to be honest with you, it's a couple of days old, this one. Uh, but it was posted on the 21st. Sorry, I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see it. It was posted on the 21st, and that was the day that I went out with my friends. Um, so uh, I didn't get around to, uh, to looking at it until today. It's very brief, to be honest with you. It's coming from the notorious, the infamous indie uh, on, uh, on X. If you, uh, if you use X, a.k.a. Twitter, or formerly known as Twitter, you'll know of this account if you, um, if you follow football. People think it's a genuine account. It's, it's well... It's just someone having a lot of fun at everybody's expense, to be honest with you. And it's unbelievable how many uh, people um, listen to it. But anyway, that's by the bag. Uh, basically, it says, exclusive. Uh, we understand. Who's we? We understand Virgil van Dijk has agreed to sign a new contract at LFC. That's it. Uh, that is uh, the extent of that. Now... What's interesting here is that that particular claim has been viewed a million times, uh, a million times, and that's a lot of impressions. Now, on X, you don't get paid, uh, if you are monetized on X, you don't get paid for impressions. You get paid for comments, uh, you know, the actual comments. And you only get, uh, you only make revenue on X uh, if someone replies to you and they've got a blue tick. Right, so uh, the more interaction, um, the, the, people call it uh, engagement farming, but basically you know, like where it's just posting something for the sake of farming engagement. Uh, but basically every time you see a blue tick reply uh, to, to an account like that, for example, um, it's, it's, it's generating revenue for the account holder, which is why you see a lot of these uh, so-called uh, ITK accounts, Twitter twats or whatever, making various various claims. It should also be said that for them to be uh, to be monetized on X, um, they themselves have to have a blue tick as well. All right. So I just want you to, yeah, you because know, some of you might not realize how it works. To be honest with you, but a million impressions is uh, is impressive, right? That means a lot of people have uh, have viewed that, and there's a lot of people. In fact, all the people replying have all got blue ticks. Uh, ka -ching. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, is it true? I mean, nobody uh, with any credibility uh, said that, um, let's get the words right, that Virgil has agreed to sign a new contract. But the news surrounding Virgil van Dijk has been uh, rather positive, I think, uh, with the club. I fully expect him to sign uh, a new contract. And I think that when, when the club announced this contract or those contracts or out of that those three players, I think it's going to be, they're going to make it the biggest hyped up announcement we've ever seen. You know what I mean? But like a Donald Trump, you know, the greatest. It is, he sounds like Bill Shanky then. Uh, I'm like, greatest. Uh, it'll be, you know, it'll be the greatest, the biggest contract renewals we've ever seen at the club before. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think that they're going to really, really milk this, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, Liverpool Football Club under these owners are um, exceptionally good at the, you know, the way that they manage uh, expectations, how they manage announcements. Uh, you know, I, I just think that when they do announce these things, when these things are resolved one way or the other, uh, I think it, it's going to be just so cheesy. Do you know what I mean? But maybe the kids are like, it. I don't know. So, I think with this particular account here, uh, I mean, maybe their sources are correct. Uh, but when you think about it, it's a 50 50, isn't it? So, if you want to like claim to know what's going on at the club, well, it's only 50 50. He's either going to sign a contract or he's not. So, what they do, what certain accounts do and people do, is they just hedge the bets and go by the mood of what's being claimed at the time. Would you say he's more likely to sign or less likely? You'd say more likely, wouldn't you? So now is a good time to get in first. It's approaching the end of November and the end of the year. Uh, so if you were to come in, you know, out now and say he's agreed to sign a new contract, uh, then you can come back later and say, I was the first one to say it. It's edging your bets. It's just making a calculated guess. The, maybe this account isn't doing it, but that's what some people might suggest. Uh, and also agreeing to sign a new contract leaves the door open should it not happen. Because it doesn't say has signed a new contract. 
He's just agreed to. But there's enough like room there to wiggle out of it and go, well, he, he did agree terms, but something changed. Do you know what I mean? So it's nonsense. But the reason why I'm addressing it is that I've seen people, you know, interacting in across cop talk or whatever, uh, you know, uh, saying, oh, he's, he's signed a new deal or he's going to sign a new deal. And I've noticed that those claims have peaked uh, in the last couple of days. And I suspect it's a result uh, of that because it's been reposted, like redistributed to a thousand other people almost. So a thousand people have reposted it and reposted those claims. And then how many of those people have reposted it? And like I say, there's uh, a million views on there. That's a lot of Liverpool fans looking at that and then sharing that opinion with people. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's today's exclusive. I love doing the exclusives. Yeah, I think they're great. But one of the things I try to do with my channel, yeah, we like a giggle and all that. Uh, and it, it, it's just to let people know where these claims are coming from because, you know, some of you people are busy people, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that sounded condescending, didn't it? Some of you people. I didn't mean it like that. It just didn't sound right when I said it then. Some of you people. Is it rude saying some of you people? It shouldn't be. Some of you people. What else am I supposed to say? Ah, just want to make sure I'm not offending you. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, some of you motherfuckers, right? I, you know, have um, you know jobs and lives and children and can't spend your uh, your day online all day like some of these sad fuckers that are. Don't matter. Uh, so my job is to just try and keep you, you know, informed of where these things are coming from and whether you should believe them or not. You know, I always tell you, you make your own opinions up. Um, but I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be believing that. I think that's just uh, a stab in the dark, really, with you, and uh, it's worded to where you could still get out of it, you know. So, but the thing is, what you have to understand with that particular account is, it's not like a journalist. It's not someone that it's. Well, it is, but the person behind it obviously is just taking the piss, right? So they're not really bothered if they get anything right or wrong. Uh, whereas a journalist. Uh, would have to, um, sorry, I've just got a notification from my girlfriend. Uh, a journalist can be more accountable, like, do you know what I mean? So I always think that when you read any of these claims, always, always read exactly what they're saying and don't read it too fast, do you know what I mean? Has agreed to is very different to has signed, do you know what I mean? Has agreed to sign, has signed. Uh, you can't get out of has signed, can you? Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I think you know that. Right, I'll leave it with you. I'm going live now. All right, guys, if you appreciate this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee. Uh, we'll be back in the uh, the cafe on Monday, I think. I will, be, will I be going tomorrow? No, I don't think cafe's open tomorrow, but I might cast my eyes over the newspapers for you. Um, I should say before we sign off that um, Steve Harrison uh, has bought Monday's papers for us. I appreciate you, Steve. Thank you, brother. It's £3.50. Yeah. £3.50, you know, over 30 days in a month or whatever, even 28 days, whatever, uh, it all tops up. So I appreciate you, Steve. Cheers, brother. All right, guys. Um, have a great weekend. <laughs>